What is going on gamers, Avatrix here and today we're going to be talking about how to get Watcher Medals in the best efficient way and this is through the Hell Event building and that's the event that you will have to get a lot of building points. Now essentially here's the easiest way to do that. You can go ahead and demolish three of your buildings. Uh, I prefer to demolish either infirmaries or manors depending on what you have at the moment or if you're going for a specific build and you need to build something else anyways I suggest you go that route um, but here's what I did um, so I demolished three of my buildings and I'm, what I'm going to be doing is building back up my infirmary so I'm going to be building three of them uh, I do them all pretty much at the same time uh, because depending on your vip level you can get them up to anywhere from like level 8 to all the way to level 11 or 12 depending on how many free upgrades you can get now here's what i would suggest once you get all three started get all of them up as high as you can without needing any sort of helps from your guildmates so that's exactly that's exactly what i did here i went ahead and did the free upgrades i believe i could take mine all the way up to about level 11 before getting all of the helps that i was going to be needing here's a few things that you should note about this uh building watcher event this is something that is going to be extensively heavy on the resources so for instance on stone you're going to need about a hundred million stone for wood it's going to be roughly about 160 million wood and for ore is going to be about 50 million ore now that's if you go the infirmary route if you go the manor route the resource might be a little bit lower but the thing is is that the amount of speed ups or gems that you will have to use is going to be greater with the manor so just keep that in mind depending on what you need at the moment like for instance if you have a lot of resources you might want to go with the infirmaries but if you don't then probably it'll be better for you to go to manors Another thing to keep in mind is that if you just use gems, no speed ups, you can be looking at spending about 15,000 gems on one event. Now that does depend of course on your construction percentage, etc. Your heroes that you have to help with construction, etc, etc. But essentially you'll be looking to, uh, to pay roughly about 15,000 gems or if you're using speed ups you can expect to use just about 10 to 12 days of, of speed ups just keep in mind like i said that it will depend on what you're working with as far as your construction bonuses your gear etc um, now here's the thing though i would not spend too much time on the lower level ones because you only have less than an hour to complete this event so before you reach like level 22 and 23s don't wait too much for helps because you're not going to get all 30 helps for every single level so from level i don't know from level 11 to like 22 or so i would wait for as many helps as you can get in a few minutes depending on how active your guild is so that'll be a good amount to wait for um just do not spend too many too many uh, minutes on the lower level buildings um, before level 20 do not wait on too many helps because before you know it you're going to be behind and then you're going to have to spend more gems and more speed ups on the higher level buildings which take more time and where the helps actually would help you quite a lot more so just keep that in mind now the other thing is when you are doing this make sure that you have all the resources that you're going to need or at least have them in bags because if you stop midway then pretty much everything is going to be wasted you know all those resources that you put into those buildings etc if you don't actually finish it it's gonna suck so just make sure that you have everything that you need to finish it before you actually start it because if you don't it's it's just not going to be fun uh, but yeah, like I said, once you once you get to around the 30 minutes to go on the hell event, you should be somewhere around level 21 or so on those buildings. You want to be in the in the high on, or in the low 20s. That way you can work yourself up to where you actually want to start waiting for the help. So that'll be level 23, 24, and especially 25. If you can get the, as many helps as you can get before the level 25, that's going to be the biggest bonus there. Now, there is all, you also will need quite a bit of food, so make sure that you either have a lot of food in bags or that your guildmates can help you out with the food. Um, but, also, 
you are going to need some hammers. So if you're going to be doing three buildings, you are going to need three of them. So that is 6,000 gems. Um, so make sure you either already have the hammers or you have enough gems to buy those hammers. So if you're just planning on doing it with speed ups, just don't forget that we, you will need those hammers. So do not forget that. Now here we go. This is where those gold hammers will come into play. Take a look at the amount of food that you're going to need just for one level 25. That's almost 9 million. And there we go. We can buy one hammer for 2,000 gems. Or if you're planning to do this, um, or at least quite a few of them, I would recommend buying the hammers in bulk because it'll save you a little bit of gems. I mean, it's not going to save you too much. But if it's going to be like a long-term commitment that you're going to make, I suggest just buying the, the gold hammers in bulk. So instead of just buying one, buy the times five. It'll save you 500 gems. So just a little tip. Um, so here we go. This is one of the last buildings that I'm doing all the way up to level 25. So to finish the event, you will need three level 25 buildings from scratch pretty much. So just keep that in mind. So here we go. My last level 25 buildings. And this is where you want to go ahead and wait for all of the helps if you can before actually finishing it. So there we go. I got the very last help there. So now that I got the very last helps on my last building, I have about six minutes to go. So that's just about right. And now that I got all the helps on my last buildings that I can get, I can go ahead and use the speed ups that I have to make sure I finish it off. So here we go. Don't if you have your VIP level to where you can finish buildings at like 45 minutes or 30 minutes, don't get it all the way up to like 10 minutes. Try to try to utilize your speed ups the best possible way to save you the speed ups because every minute counts in this game. So there we go. Three buildings to level 25. I got my times three watcher and of course the other rewards. I mean a three day speed up. Don't sleep on that because that makes up for a lot of the uh, speed ups that you use. So there we go. Hell event completed. And once it's completed, if you get lucky, you can also get rank one rewards, which look at this. I got two days of speed ups, a 15 hour day, a uh, 15 hour speed up relocator and a lot of other, other goodies because I got rank one in the building watcher a lot of people don't do the building watcher because either they don't know what's the best efficient way to do it or maybe they don't have the speed ups or resource but watcher is definitely one of those heroes that is super nice to get because it is like a dream witch but you don't actually have to purchase it you can do it with in-game speed ups and whatnot but i i still have a long way to go but yeah hopefully this helps you guys and uh thank you guys for watching and until later, bye.